He's our communications director, and Dan Anderson, who is our regional preparedness volunteer specialist. Gentlemen, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you for the opportunity. I love this. Okay, so how does Red Cross help people prepare? Preparedness is what we want to do uh, and focus on because no one wants to deal with the aftermath Absolutely. of a disaster. So if we can have that ounce of prevention, that's what we're aiming for. And what we do is we provide classes for people and life-saving skills. And then of course, we really teach people to be Red Cross ready, which is three simple steps. It is get a kit, make a plan, stay informed. I love that. Get a kit, make a plan, stay informed. Okay, well, I'm just going to jump to this because we've got a kit right here. This yes. is, is this someone's go bag? <laughs> this is my go bag. I love it. So Tell me is, a little bit about it, Dan. This is a bag that you would prepare for your home. And if you had no notice, this is what you grab first on your way out the door. So today I brought my personal go bag and you can get a list of things that you should have, but it should be personalized. It's things that you're concerned about and that you consider to be important. In my family, you know, this is uh, golden. <laughs> yes. I need to have that Food. in my go bag. Mm -hmm. You know, these chemical processed uh, foods are good, but more importantly, the radio. Communications. Communications. You mm -hmm. need to be informed. Have your own crank radio. Have a fire starter. Have a blanket, you know, a space blanket. Have a, a little uh, poncho because you may be on your own for the first 12 hours and you got to be prepared. Now, if I had more notice, I would then pull out my list and I'd look down my list and put together some items like, you know, you get a hurricane notice or a red flag notice, that's the time I pull out this, this list because then I can throw in things like, oh, important documents or mementos Correct. or important things for my family. And the, the other is, you know, these are not necessarily must have, but these are things I'd like to have. So that's why I use this list. You're right. So number one, have a kit. Number two, make a plan. Yes. But here's the thing is that we just received the uh, lower than average hurricane season outlook, right? And you know, we're here in Hawaii and the sun is shining and stuff like that. Really, how important is it to make a plan, Matt? It sounds great to have a <laughs> slow season, but yes. any number greater than zero is too many. Yeah. I don't want to deal with any hurricanes coming near the the islands or impacting the islands. So that's the thing to really remember is that disasters don't have a calendar and it only takes one. It only it takes really one. It really does. And it's the impact is so far reaching. As we're seeing with disasters that we've seen locally and nationally over the past couple of years, yes. the disaster itself might be something you go through in just a few minutes, a couple of hours, but that recovery, that can take years. Yeah. And sometimes that's the difference between life and death, right? Very much. Being so, able yeah. to recover. So we did the first. Um, have a kit, mm -hmm. make a plan, and the third on that list? Stay informed. Stay informed, and yes. how do we do that? Well, that is by going to trusted news sources. If you have, of course, everyone's gonna be looking at their cell phones, make sure that you've got information that can go in and out. We have a way of helping with that. It is our Red Cross emergency app. It's essentially like having the Red Cross in your pocket. I love that. You can that. mark yourself as safe, you can learn where shelters are, and you can essentially learn what's coming next because every plan that you make is great, but it will change on a dime. It can absolutely change in an instant. You need to know what the next thing is, and by staying informed, that's how you keep yourself, your family, your friends, your household, Safe. Safe. Yeah. That's right. That's so have mean. a kit, make a plan, stay informed. And now Dan is a volunteer with Red Cross. Yes, How else can our viewers either volunteer or donate or help the efforts of Red Cross? Well, this catch all is to visit us at redcross.org slash Hawaii. Following on our social media, we're going to make sure that you stay up to date with any updates and news as it happens in any form of a disaster. And then, of course, the emergency app that we spoke of. Make sure you download that. That's available, Android, iPhone, whatever you use, we have it for you. And then really come in. That website, redcross.org slash Hawaii, is great because that's where you find out how you can become a volunteer. It doesn't matter what your background is. Uh, we'll train you in what you want to do. And then that wealth of experience that you have in anything, doesn't matter if it's accounting or firefighting or anything, come come to us and we can apply that to the recovery and the disaster preparedness that the community needs. Awesome. Donations are done there as well. Awesome. Thank you so much, Matt, Dan, Red Cross, helping to keep you safe this week as we prepare for hurricane season. Wait, right here with Island Life Live.
Wow, that was very helpful, Lena Girl. Thank you so much for having them on. Yeah, they were so awesome. And, you know, again, Red Cross is volunteers and private donors. No government funds to fund this particular organization. And, you know, you, when you see that Red Cross, you know that they're there yeah. to help. Absolutely. And, you know, as we were watching that, uh, that story, as you're interviewing them, Melly's like, I got that. I got that. I got, I that. got that. In my bag. That. Which is very good. I had all those things that he showed on the table, I have that inside my, it's called my, it's called my bug out bag. Bug out bug bag. Out. Yeah. I love that. So get that ready because, again, we are in hurricane season up 